Hi guys, you must now know how to save data using three types of calculators starting with casual class with tape. So for example, we have long calculations such as say um, 16 times 0.3 divided by 27 times say square root of 3. And what if we need to use this data later? And of course, we don't want to like round off or round up figures because we'll be really far from the nearest approximated value. So let's save. Let's save this data because we know we'll be, we'll be using this later. So how to save? This is the first thing. You have the answer is square root of 3 all over 45. Press AC. No need to worry because it's still there. You can check it by pressing ANS key. ANS equals C, it's still there. So, first step AC, ANS equals locate store, store key or STO in your calculator. In class ways, it's just STO. So, I'll be pressing STO. Notice that there will also be that figure. Like I want to, it's like I want to save that data to a specific value. So say I want to save that to letter C, the red C there. So I just have to press that. Notice that. That answer will be saved now to letter C. Let's check if it's really there. Press AC. That letter C is color red, therefore we are to press this time alpha. So alpha, alpha, and this button here with that C equals, it's there. So whenever you need that value that c value to be multiplied or to be operated with any other number say i have um square root of 37 um say divided by divided by whatever the answer that we got earlier alpha c it will right away calculate for you Okay, now how to do it this time to this type of calculator. This would be afraid to know if this is your type of calculator. Once you have the fraction key or the box over box key. So how to save? Um, generally the same so if I let's have like really long a bit long calculation say um, 43 divided by 0.1 of course times 2.3 times um, 7.71 divided by 1.7 okay here what if we need that value so same process we need to save this value so same process first step is to press ants so next would be i mean ac next would be the ants key ants equals it's there so we are to locate this time store but for this type of calc store is actually color yellow which means that we have to press first the shift key before pressing this store key. So shift, notice that we'll have letter S as well at the top. Shift, store. Notice that we now have ST over there at the top. So we are in the process of storing. So shift, store. Let's say this time I want to save that to letter E. So I just have to press this key right away, E. So same with the class with earlier, we'll have that. 
So let's check if it's really an E. So E there is still red. So alpha E equals to that. Okay. Lastly, for this type of Casio calculator, um, yeah, the same. You just have to look for STO. So say we have for, for this time, let's say 89 divided by 1.71. And say we need that very long number there. So again, AC ANS equals by the way this type of calcul would be for those type of calcul which cannot do um fractions directly instead it has this um per key okay so again that would be ants equals store here is still yellow so same thing with the second calculator earlier that would be shift store same thing it has a store there at the top let's save it this time to letter x there and this will be stored to x so checking it there that would be alpha x equals it's there so that's actually the use of those letters there in your calculator so i hope by now you were you're really friends with your calculator knowing how to you know use most if not all of the functions in your calculator so for the other videos i'll be um i'll be giving you details on how to save this time for non casho just comment down below or send me a pm what type of calculators you're having and let me try to help you on that all right 